So for today, we will have rational functions. So the target competencies are the following. Represents a rational function through its table of values, graph, and equation. So what is a rational function? A rational function is if P of X and Q of X are polynomials with no common factor. And the function of X was the function of P of X all over Q of X for Q of X should not be equal to zero. Then the function F of X is called a rational function. So it's a quotient of two polynomials with no common factor. So the domain consists of all real numbers except for those which the denominator is zero. It can be written in set builder and interval notation. So for example, you have a function representing the concentration of a drug, the patient bloodstream over time in hours is given as C over T equals 5T over T squared plus 1. So you are asked to construct a table of values. Again, T is time in hours. Plot the points in a Cartesian plane and connect them. And then describe the function. So first, you have the given function. So how do we construct table of values? So first, we need to assign values for T. So T is time. So that, so that means T should be positive numbers only. So we have T. We said T, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So how do we get the concentration with respect to time? So all we have to do is substitute the given value of T in your function. So substituting, for example, we have zero. So C of zero. So this is simply means five times zero all over zero squared plus one, which is simply zero over one, which is zero. So C of T is zero. So we simply again substitute the value of t in the given function. So that means you have for 0 it's 0, 1, 2.5, 2, 2, 3, 1.5, 4, 1 1.18, 5, it's 0 0.96, 6, 0 0.81, 7, 0 0.7, 8, 0 0.62, and 9, 0 0.55. So we're now done with the first task, which is to construct the table of values. So again, how do we construct table of values? So all you have to do is to substitute a specific value of your independent variable to the dependent variable. So here our independent variable is time. Dependent variable is the concentration. So next task is you're asked to plot the points in the Cartesian plane and connect them. 
So plot the points in the Cartesian plane and connect them. So the given points, 0, 0, 1, 2.5, and so on and so forth. So if you can see, I already plotted the points. So you have 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, and so on. So, this is the second task, which is to plot the points in a Cartesian plane. After plotting the points, we connect the given points. So, first point, second, and so on. So, you can see it's not a straight line, so it's a it's a smooth curve. Okay, so what do you observe with the graph? So this is for the second task, plotting the points. So we're done with the second task, which is to plot the points and connect them so that we can see the graph. Okay, next is what can you say about the function? That's the third question. So here you can see the different representation of function. The first one is our equation. The concentration of time is equal to 5t over t squared plus 1. The second representation is the table of values. And the last one is the graph. So what can you say with the given function? So that's the third task. What can you say with the given function? Observe the graph. So what do we mean by this one? Obviously, 0, 0. So what do we mean by that one? So the concentration of the drug has no effect yet if it's not taken by a particular person. But observe, after one hour, the concentration of that particular drug is at 2.5. So it shoot up at 2.5. So meaning after 2.5, after one hour, the amount of drugs is 2.5. And from the table, you can see that the concentration of the drug is decreasing. That's why you have this line of the graph going down. So that is what we meant by what can you say about the function. Simply describe the function and the relationship of the given variables. So again, to represent function, it can be represented through an equation, table values, and then graph. So, this time, represent the rational function given by f of x equals x minus 1 over x plus 1 using table of values. Plot the points from the table of values from the table of values and sketch the graph of the function by connecting the points. So here, the given is a function x minus 1 all over x plus 1. So again, using table of values, so we need to construct table of values. So here, you have the values of x, so any values of x, this time, it can be positive or negative. So, I'll assign negative 10 and 10 
with an interval of 2. So what do we do to get the function x? Again, all we have to do is to substitute the value of x to the given function. So f of negative 10 is simply equal to negative 10 minus 1 all over negative 10 plus 1, which is negative 11 over negative 9. So 11 over 9 is approximately, so this is positive 11 over 9, approximately 1.22. So, same goes for the other values of x. So, once we've completed the values of x, so you have the table of values. So, we're done with the first task. So, again, simply substitute a value of x and then graph. So I, we just represented the given points as letters. So A, so this is point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So this is point A, negative 10, 1.2. F is 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 points, and so on. So now, you plotted the points already. So let's connect the points. to check on the graph of the function. So this is the points. So let's connect the points. So we have, does it follow a line, a straight line? So again, it's not a line. So you have the given graph of the function f of x equals x minus 1 all over x plus 1. Can I connect the points E and point F? Why is it there's a gap between point E and point F? So what do we mean by that one? So observe, this is our given function. So what do we mean by that one? So we have here the point negative 1. What is this negative 1? This is our restriction in our domain. So the domain of f is x such that x should not be equal to negative 1. So that explains the gap between the two points given this one. Because of the restriction negative 1. Because if the value of x is negative 1, our function will be undefined. Okay? So it's important for us to identify the restriction of our Okay, next. So this time, represent the rational function given by f of x, x squared minus 3x minus 10. Same using table of values. So again, all you have to do is to um, choose values of x that you will substitute. So here, what will be the restriction? What will be the domain of f? So the domain of f is x 
such that x should not be equal to 0 because our denominator is 0. So again, choose values of x that you will substitute in the given function. After that, you have to sketch the points and then graph. So should not be equal to 0. So this is 0. So observe again from this point to this point. So negative 1, it's negative 6, positive 1. So there's none for 0. So this line is our boundary line. So as we go along with our lesson, you'll get to know what is this line is all about. So plot the points and then connect the points for you to get the graph to represent the function as a graph. Okay, so that's it. On representing functions as an equation, as a table of values, and as a graph. So I leave this task to you. I would want you to answer this in your notebook and we'll discuss this in the next meeting. So in Inter Barangay Basketball League, the team from Barangay has won 12 out of 25 games, a winning percentage of 48%. We have seen that they need to win 89 games consecutively to raise their percentage to at least 60%. What will be their winning percentage if they win 10 games in a row? 15, 20, 30, 50, 100 games. And if they can reach 100% winning percentage. So again, we represent rational functions through table of values, equation, and graph. Yeah.